Today's show is sponsored by Indie Film Hustle's Filmmaker Process. We provide filmmakers with professional services to get their films or series funded, finished, and distributed. For more information, go to filmmakerprocess.com. One of, your, one of the films in your uh, filmography that I, I think is not as, you know, not as known is 187. I absolutely loved 187. Um, and when I was directing some, uh, some of my directing work, I actually would bring in my DPs and we would watch 187 because some of the stuff that you did in that uh, with the color grading choices you did for the time was pretty, this is, was this pre, I think this was pre-DI, right? It was pre-DI, so there was no, no digital color grading. So you were doing stuff in camera. So it was really remarkable. How did you? Uh, what what guided you in your color grading choices in that film? Because it's pretty pretty uh, intense. Well, I mean, coming off of Waterworld, as I said, which was not <laughs> fun. I wanted to do something that was more experimental, where we could just really take a lot of chances, you know, creatively, and. Um, God bless him. I mean, it was Mel Gibson's company, Icon, that came to me with the project. And uh, I have to say, you know, Mel's had all kinds of problems. So, but he was he was maybe the greatest producer I've ever worked with. He was he could not have been more supportive and nicer, uh, you know, in the in the way he let me make that picture. He was wonderful. Um and so we were able to take a lot of chances. And I brought in a young guy named Erickson Core as DP. And we just went to town. We we looked at every scene as an opportunity to do something different. You know, from color grading, we used a lot of swing and tilt lenses to mm-hmm. shoot in the frame where some stuff's out of focus and some stuff's sharp. Mm-hmm. There's a sequence where in a classroom, uh, we wanted to we – wanted to, uh, show one of the characters like on a, on a, a TV, uh, like on a TV. Sh- uh, yeah. TV, uh, TV monitor. Yeah. Yeah. TV monitor. So Erickson went out and bought a Fisher price toy camera and that's what we shot it with. And then took that image and translated it to film. And so we just did a lot of stuff like that and it was really exciting and it was yeah. really fun. It was invigorating and it just kind of rekindled, you know, a lot of uh, uh, creative energy that I'd lost doing Waterworld. Uh, that picture didn't do it didn't do any business, but I'm very proud of it. Uh, Sam Jackson was great. That was his first uh, starring role. Like his first, like you know, he was the leading character in it. Like it was. Well, his... I mean, he'd he'd done Pulp Fiction already. But it, that, but he wasn't. He was. It wasn't like he, It wasn't the Sam Jackson show. Like it was. He was the star of that movie. Yeah. And and I and I like it because I mean you know Sam has sort of a persona that everybody knows him for, and he really sort of went against character, uh, yeah, in that role. And he wanted to do it. He came to us. He wanted to do it. And I'm like, great. And he was he was wonderful to work with. He's a total pro. Now, um, uh, there was that one scene, by the way, in in one eight seven that deer deer hunter scene. How do you? How did you approach that? Because that's intense. Intense. I just rewatched it the other day. Such an intense scene. Yeah. How do you? Yeah. How do you like directing a scene like that? Because both those actors, uh, both Sam and I forgot um, Clifton. Clifton. Yeah. He yeah. so amazing. There's just, just two juggernauts uh, in acting. How do you direct a scene like that? You know, it's they. I still remember the day we shot that. There was so much energy on set. I mean, everybody was amped up for that scene, really amped up. And everybody, I mean, not just the actors, but all the support person, the camera, and everybody, and everybody, it was great because you could just see everybody kind of sitting back delicately and watching it unfold and trying to be supportive, you know, in their own way. I mean, from makeup to effects, everything, everybody was really into it. You know, a lot of times when you shoot, sometimes people don't care. They just kind of show up and do their job. But everybody was really into that scene. And you feel it, you feel it. And it really imbued the moment with that energy. And, and, uh, that's why you do pictures is for those kind of occasions, you know, mm-hmm. kind of energy to experience that. To watch the rest of this interview, head over to IndieFilmHustle.com.